Hello, hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome. So, we have returned back already. I'm looking forward to seeing the actual events of today, really. Uh, we did have the fall of Rangoon earlier today, actually, which was quite nice. Uh, quite cool there. Quite happy about that. We will have the Battle of Sian today, and that's going to dictate quite a lot of things to come here in the coming days, so I'm going to be rather intrigued to see what happens. Ideally, the turn is a proper turn. We've had it in the past where he has sent the wrong turn by mistake, so it should be fine. should be fine. I dare not cast dispersions upon our uh, honoured opponent. But I'm going to be quite intrigued to see what happens here today. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh. We've had, like, this back and forth, myself and Dad, man. Like, it's just been talking about coconuts. He put, like, how oh, I've got a whole bunch of coconuts. Like, when he was coming in for the bombardment. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so I called his bombardment the coconut, sorry, the companion coconut delivery service. Oh, dear. Who knows, it might uh, bring in another order. Yep, looks good there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now I'm going to be interested to see what happens to Sian. Um, yeah, I'll be interested to see what happens in Java. Hey, Demir Helen, good to have you, my man. Yeah, it's Xmas. <laughs> Let's see that. So moving into the 10th of February. Things are going well enough, really. It's nice to have the quick progress. Uh, I'm going to be eager to see how 4,000 odd assault value manages against um, Sian. I do see a number of subs just off the coast of Java, man. just off the coast of Menek. That's a bit worrisome. I do have heavy cruisers and DTs moving in that area, but they might be, they're might they moving to East Harbour, so I did it be outside the... Uh, ah, so we do find mines over here in Jalavid. Bloody well knew we'd have more out there. Hey, doing that, Vulcan? Right, Stingray, attempting to intercept the Amakasu Maru. Oh, wow, thank you very much for that, Helen. That's much appreciated, my man. Helson. I'm going to keep calling you Helen. It looks like Helen, and I'm going to keep calling you Helen. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you very much for that, Helson. Oh, so he sees some allied ships there. That's... Oh, right. If there's actually ships there, he's going to be in for a real bad time. Like, a really bad time. I hope he's in for a bad time. But much appreciated that would be subscription. That's that's really awesome, man. I do like that with Twitch Prime. Uh, it's nice because it doesn't cost you any more, and it helps me out, which is nice. <laughs> As you can imagine. So landing over here, really trying to push out the envelope of the bases we have. Uh, we're going to mass our forces over here to Chile Tap to Chile Tap. Have you want to pronounce that? And uh, master attack them in the near future. I can't believe. I don't know. It's re it's interesting regarding the shock attack that we had in Java. Sorry, in Java. That's a cool little uh, icon there. That's pretty awesome. I like the little infinite sign. That's cool. I like that. Right. So made it through the night phase. Yes, yeah, so we are finding mines out here at Jalowit. Uh Sweeping the mines here at Batavia. Oh, rice with chicken sounds good, my man. Hmm. I'm quite jealous. Yeah, we do have eight DMS sweeping mines there. Tavia, it looks like we've got all the mines there. Just a couple more, but it looks like we've got the majority, if not all of them. Yeah, find more mines out here. Hey, didn't that icy? Good to have you, my man. We've got the crew. Right, he's still got the ships there. I've got to hope that we actually do get the uh, naval strike here today. We do have assets there. I've got to hope for the naval strike. They've been in position a day now. You can see the amount of naval surge. They are definitely hitting them. They're actually... They know they're there, so just... Just hit them. Torpedo them. Do it. <laughs> launch the... <laughs> launch them, please. Uh, interesting reports there. Yeah. I'd be... Uh, I'd be rather abused if you launched another shock attack here today. I, I doubt that. It does make you wonder, was he attempted to launch a deliberate attack? Did he mean to launch a shock attack? Not too sure. Apparently a, a, uh, ah, both the Allied AK, so they must have come out of Kuching. Interesting. Right, we are seeing those Allied ships in there just outside Moresby. Uh, I did decide to actually have a kind of a time return towards truck, but in an indirect method. You can see that we are seeing, uh, subs out there. We're going to have, uh, the kind of a time move in there slowly but surely once we're clear of the subs. We are going to be preparing to land at Moresby in the near future. We just need to get the assets in place and then we will be launching an operation against Moresby. Oh, come on! Bad weather? Yes! Come on, baby! You're not hitting the right bonds, but at least you're hitting something for a change. That's nice. So we get a torpedo. Ah, oh, it's been so long since we heard that. And that's the second one. But please hit that force instead. Like, I know it says there's bad weather, but please hit it. 
Yep, there we go. Got the Ardent. Uh, they should potentially fly in from Bangkok, so I'm gonna hope for that. So, attack and heal then. Ardent goes down. Hermelin, go Hermelin goes down. There's Agnes over here. I did get more attacks. When the AM phase, we might get them in PM. Grrrr. <laughs> How you doing there, Jessica? Good to have you, my man. Yeah, Cracker's unleashed, indeed. Um, okay, speed that up now. Yeah, I've not seen the flak this time around, which is intriguing. I wonder how his supply situation looks. Oh, that's a really effective attack here today. That's nice to see. More coming in. Uh, not too much. We've only just been going a few minutes now. Just in the AM phase here. Uh, report to the PBY. That is interesting. Yeah, that's pretty good as well. More hits is always good. Right, I'm looking forward to seeing the battle scene. Uh, we are bombing the airbase uh, air again here. I reduced the amount of bombers because I was somewhat worried that he might have uh, sent in the fighters over here, but it seems that's uh, not to be. But a couple hits on the actual base is not too bad either. More coming in over here at the tan. Yep, looking good. <laughs> Looking good, we're actually getting some respectable damage on Epitan. I would like to see more torpedo attacks. I really do want to hit his actual forces at Rembri Island, I think it is, uh, over here. Like, he's got them there. I really want us to hit them. Like, we should hit them. Right, air operations PM now. Come on, please, just hit them! You keep flying over them! If you're flying over them, you can hit them! <laughs> do it! Please! <laughs> Don't make me beg! Oh my god, just... Hit them. Oh, for God's sakes. Like, there's all those, like, ships there, and they're just like... Just... Just, <laughs> just throw a torpedo in for the love of God. For God's sakes. I really hope they... Yeah, Hog Island one. That could be converted to an AKE. Oh, so we are seeing ships out there. Those are the AKs. That's intriguing, then. He's moved in quite a few there. Cruiser Mine Layers, APs. I do wonder what if he's... He might be, like, um... I'm not too sure. He might be reinforcing balls, which would be rather intriguing. Um... We have DMSs in the area, we can go ahead and clear the area of mines, so we'll see. Catalina's out there, so he's running that out by wake. Um, I mean, the thing is, they're not in the port. Right, we're attacking these guys again, okay. Uh, at least we'll get the Agnes, but I, I want to hit them. Hit them! Oh well. I suppose we're hitting something, I would have preferred them to hit that, but okay. Who knows, we might get a attack from Bangkok. Oh, so we do see others over here, then, so that's not too bad, I guess. <sighs> I wish we could tell them to hit that. Who knows? Maybe we will. But we do see that force, which is nice. But that doesn't really cost him, so... Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Who knows? He might linger another day. There's still ships out there, which is interesting. There's quite a few ships in there. Right, so attacking here, then. A couple more casualties. We'll have that uh, division detachment there tomorrow, but today actually. Uh, I really wanted to hit that force at Rembry Island. They're probably going to get away, which is really annoying. <laughs> it's like, for God's sakes, there's seven hexes away. All right, okay. Well, at least we got them to fly some today. I would have expected more, but I guess the weather's apparently not perfect for them. Apparently, they need to have it perfect. For the love of God. <laughs> I mean, they are getting the uh, attacks in with the naval surge. You just like, just, just, like, throw a torpedo down, please. So we do have an attack over here at Xi'an. So we do see, yeah, he's going to crumble today. Uh, we do see the 76 Chinese core over here. We do see a decent bit of AV, but it's just, it, this is 4,000 AV. <laughs> that's tanks, that's artillery, that's headquarters, divisions here. Did I mention the tanks? There's about like four or five hundred tanks, something like that. He's gonna crumble, it's clear terrain. He will have fortifications, but it's just it's just not if he doesn't fall today, he I don't know. I'd be surprised if he didn't fall today, to be honest. Yeah, you'll see his AV continue to decrease there. Yeah, you can see those Chinese cores being absolutely brutalized now. Yeah, Operation Barbados such a bad variant. Not like that. Yeah. There's a lot of artillery here. Yep, down to two, and we captured Sian, yep. Not exactly surprised about that one. 
Sian has fallen to our invincible arms and we will have the way forward open. So we need to continue to march into the north now. Yeah, he has like one or so corv and had a decent bit of force left. Uh, but the rest of them have it been up. He loses Sian, which is, yeah, so we see fifth warrior area surrender, which is nice. That's good. At least that's one unit that surrenders. And they continue to retreat. So they retreat to the north then, which is still clear terrain, so we can march immediately upon them. Uh, so we had 9 to 1 odds there, yeah, 3,600, so he had level 2 fortifications, but we attacked with 4,141 assault value versus 1,376. Uh, so we have 3,859 casualties, 6 destroyed, 1 destroyed, 284 disabled, 30 disabled, 47 disabled, they can be recovered. And we inflict 28,102 casualties, 972 squads destroyed, 168 disabled, 1,243 non-combatants destroyed, 95 disabled, 203 engineers destroyed, 11 disabled, 109 guns destroyed, 41 disabled. He's not in a great position right now. Yeah, he's not a gr <laughs> he's not in a good position. That's that's got to hurt. That has got to hurt. Um, we can't get anything up there on the rail line so we control the other base it connects to. Rails are kind of like, meh. It'd be nice if you could have more, but it is what it is. So, yep, yeah, we kicked them out of the hex, so they've been forced to march north. Yep, yeah, you can see their supply situation is obviously bad, and it will get worse now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we see there 621 casualties, 21 destroyed, 60, yep. Yeah, very nice. Uh... I did order a bombardment attack. Bombardment. So, yeah, the AV is not too bad, actually. I do have additional forces moving south, so that's good, then. I'll get the additional forces in there. So, you see, Kandar, uh, Kandarai. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to compare it to the other day. So, it's not too bad, actually. I think I might have been overestimating how much AV he had here. So, we could probably attack that. Um, yeah, should be successful. I may wait on another regiment to arrive just to make sure we have more. But that's looking pretty good. Yeah, 164. Right. Uh, deliberate attack in here once again. That's looking better. Yeah, he might be... No, he's actually still here today then, so obviously he's going to be here then. I don't know, he's going to be there at some point in the future. So a few more casualties, but we are inflicting more casualties. The attack scene is actually going well, but the idea is just to, like, decrease his AV so we can hit it with another fresh force. Uh, there we go. That'll do it for the turn, which is pretty nice. Um... Uh, Oh, we've got the fortifications of Hong Kong, which is interesting. Kaviang expands to size 1. Yep, so Kaviang has an airfield now, which is excellent. Whew. Yes, we have troops in Hong Kong. We are sending... I was going to have, like, two naval guardians moved into Manila, but I decided to... Well, we decided to actually have them moved out to Amoy. Uh, we'll have them moved to other bases like that. We're going to try and free up another division from that area, so naval guardians like that do come in handy. Okay. Good turn. Good, good turn there. So we had the fall of Rangoon the day before. We've had the fall of Sian here today. Looking excellent, really. I would have preferred to have hit the ships just off the coast of Remri Island, but hey. Oh, there we go. New brigade arrives at Shanghai. That's good. It's another unit that we can use to actually balance out the uh, forces. Uh, that's actually really good. Might be able to free up another division there. Uh, I've got. I'm still working on a turn firm uh, for THG. These ones don't take as long. THG one, I've got quite a lot to do. Right, so we'll take a look at the aircraft losses. So, yeah, uh, 12, 8, 5, 5. He's at 6, 9, 5. Obviously, uh, Sian wasn't worth that much, but the VPs were. Uh, we had two zeros lost to Ops losses, which kind of sucks, actually. Uh, some Sonoyas, a Sonoya, Ki. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Hastings K4 there. We had quite a few Ops losses here today, which is not too good. He had uh, another, yeah, another Catalina loss, another Catalina loss. That's nice. He's lost quite a few of those Catalinas so far. We had a few Ops losses here today. Uh, ship sunk then, so we see a number of them. Pilot losses are pretty good, to be honest. They'd have been better had we not lost the carriers. Uh, that was really where we lost pretty much most of them. Whereabouts is it again? Is it aircraft losses? I forget what it is. Um, pilot replacements. I forget what it is now. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so... We've had 44 missing in action, 58 wounded in action, uh, 192 killed in action, which is not too bad. We would have had significantly less than that killed in action and etc. lost in action. Uh, lost. If we'd have been able to keep on to the mini could have die. <laughs> yeah, exactly there, just. Uh, we do want to keep it above that buffer just to be healthy. 
Oh, wow. He actually did go ahead and move the Gloucestershire Battalion and the 17th Division there. That's bold. That's a very bold move. Okay. So you can see the 14th Tank Regiment has arrived here today. So he has units over here, then, yeah. So one unit there. So he's stringing them out. I might need to get paratroopers in there, but I'm not too certain to be able to manage it. So we'll have the uh, tanks move north. We'll catch him. He's still got these ships over here, so I'd like to think we could get in there. It looks like there's a few more troops unloaded here today. But the thing is, we it looks like we destroyed that force, we sank that force, so he's going to be aware of that, so he's going to have to get the hell out there. And there we go, we have our division across on the other side, which is excellent. Uh, attacking Rangoon? Uh, we already have Rangoon. Oh, the carriers got sunk by... That man was really bloody smart. Like, he he got... There's, like, a lot of luck on his end. A lot of bad luck on our end. And, like, obviously smart play. Uh, it kind of sucked. It was one of the... Uh, <laughs> it was one of the bad times. But, yeah, we lost two light carriers, two escort carriers. Not a fun day. One of them, Ho Show, almost made it out, but she got torpedoed off the coast over here, which kind of sucked. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, not a happy day that was. So here we go, we have Batavia now cleared of mines, which is excellent, so I can actually make full use of Batavia. Quite happy about that. I do have a JAF coin going to Batavia. Um, yeah, uh, Pengu, indeed. <laughs> Peggy. Right. Yeah, we're going to continue marching that way. So I have 16th army now in position, which is good. Um, I don't know if it's worthwhile actually changing their preparation, but it probably would be. Uh... Ship sunk. So it's Suiho, Taiyo, Ryujo, and Hosho. So you can see that was some days ago. But that was in, um, yeah, that was like the bloody end of December. That was a bad day. Yeah, Hosho went down bloody days later to a bloody sub. That sucked. <laughs> yeah, he still has troops in Java. I decided not to attack here because it's not worthwhile doing so. It's still the terrain. Still sucks. Right, so that just moved in there. That's cool. I can go ahead, uh, go ahead and have that moved out to Batavia. So I do have control of that hex side now. Yeah, which is good. Um, these guys kind of worry me. Like, actually, are they moving? They were here yesterday, I think. So I think they are moving. They're just really weird about it. I'd have to double check and make sure they are moving. Because they should have been back there much, much sooner than that. Uh, now, the thing is there, just, it's it's a mountain hex, it's times two terrain. He would be in a bad shape, but he wasn't in that bad of a shape. He lost 48, like, squads, and he had more than that. So what we're going to do then is obviously move south. We're going to allow the 56 to recover, uh, but we're going to take the rest of Java, and then we'll come back and take that mountain hex. He's essentially surrounded anyway. I can move south. Yeah, but the thing is there, Grim. Uh, we've gone this far, we've gotten this far without them, so it's one of those of it is what it is. Can't be helped now. I don't often speak about it because it just, well, this is it. I mean, you look at how we're doing in Java, you look at how we're doing in Sumatra, you're looking at how we're doing in Burma. Uh, we're moving up, we're moving on up. Alright, let's see. Okay, they're retiring up. Oh, they actually arrived at Victoria Point. Huh, I didn't actually think they'd make it here today, but it looks like they have. Oh, cool. I didn't think they would actually make it today. I should double-check that. Excellent. Uh, they've not unloaded as of yet, but they will be. So you can see that we do have more actual engineers here. Yep, they're arriving. So we also have the Ship and Engineer Regiment here, which importantly does have about 36 naval support, which is excellent. So you can see we have that naval support now, which actually uh, speeds up the process of unloading. I'd like to make this a size 3 port. Cool, happy about that. Yep, they just need to unload now. Uh, yeah, all the engineers are, are off the ships. Nice. So we have 214 engineers here now. 11 vehicles. So that's going to speed things up quite nicely. Yeah, but just... Uh, what you've got to think, man, is that is a mountain hex with times 2 terrain. You've got to think, yes, he's going to be disorganized. But he gets a huge, huge defensive buff from that terrain. Got to bear that in mind, my dude. We'll get it in the future. It makes it easy for us. But yeah, don't get too carried away. <laughs> Right, so I do have his force across here, then. So we do see two units over here at Magway. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is march south towards Prome. I think that's what we're going to do there. I do have additional forces marching across here. 
What I decided to do then is march the... Uh, and I don't know if I even need to, but it would be worthwhile to do that, just to have control of this. Uh, we will have these guys here. Yeah, we've got AV in Paul Blair. Don't worry about that. And we destroyed the Viper Force as well uh, when we took Rangoon, which is nice. So, yep, they're moving north. Tanks have moved north, so... Yeah, they've got 30 miles. Uh, we've got a unit that's moving south now, which is nice. So he's also got the pressure from the south. He's got the pressure coming from the north now as well, which is good. It may be that we get a power to bring there, but I don't think it's worthwhile. Frankly, where can he go? That's going to be the thing. It's our base as well, which is really useful. So I might be able to get there, but we'll see. We do have tanks, so we should possibly be able to stop him from taking it. Because we'll actually have a unit in the base, and it's our base, so who knows. He might take it due to AV, but I'm, I'm not super sure. Yeah, so they've got to march down that way. They're on a major road, so it should take two, roughly two, uh, roughly two days, maybe three days at most. Uh, I do have the 740, yeah, the rest of the 740 crossing, so they made eight miles today. Eight miles. So they might make about eight miles per day. Sounds about right. Maybe eight to ten miles a day. Something from that sort of region. So if I look, then, uh, calculator. Four to six divided by eight. So about 5.75 days at eight miles a day, but I think it varies. Uh, what is the best place to start bomb India from Burma? Uh, not too sure. We do have plans in mind that may actually see India put on the back burner. But those are ones that we need to discuss, actually. Yes. So I have the 4th RTA. There are elements moving to the south. That one's moving to the east. You can see they're making good progress. Uh, what I'm doing is actually marching one element down here. One element's going to stay here. Another element's going to move down here to the south. So what I want to do is actually control all the roadways in this area. I've got this division that's been broken up, the 2nd RTA. It's been broken up so I can recover strength and have these uh, disabled units recovered. So we're at 784 assault value here today, which is very nice. Um, I'm surprised he's actually carried on the move. I'm quite happy about it. So what I'm going to do then is cancel that. And uh, we could potentially just shock attack him here, really. Yeah, you can see 4th Division. Sorry, 5th Division. It's actually a really strong division. It's actually stronger than the 38th, which is intriguing. Uh, so it's a IGA Type B. Interesting. What type is the 30... Sorry, for the 18th. So the 18th... Um, interesting. So it looks like the 18th has a... Specialty, are we? Non-standard. Yeah, same. Seems like this is the same as well. That's interesting. So this must be the new... Uh, I'd have to do the reading, actually, to take a look at that. But yet we have them in good strength. We have here the 6th Tank Regiment, which is good. Yep. Imperial Guard, I have the first RTA. Um, I mean, this is it. I could shock attack that. I might just wait for... Uh, so we have the tank regiments here. So they're going to be in Pegu tomorrow. I might wait. Because that doesn't actually affect us. He has control of that hex, but that doesn't particularly matter. I still have supply moving in over here. Uh, what I might do then is wait until we have our forces in this hex tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to have to take that hex, but if I could control that hex there, I may be able to force him to surrender. Not too sure. It'd be good to uh, force him to surrender. Uh, the other alternative is just to launch a shock attack. And maybe we just go for a shock attack. Not sure on that. I would like to have a tank there. Uh, it was a bunch of light cruisers. A bunch of cruisers came in at the night. Uh, they came in on full speed. And then we had, like, uh, the Hermes launch a strike. Uh, let's see, light cruisers. Yeah, which is why there's a bunch of uh, British light cruisers that went down. It was a bad time. Uh, Akiab. Yeah, it's got a decent airbase. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, just. We'll get there. Don't worry about it, my man. Yeah, let's see. I do have Imperial Guard Division here now. I think I might. I mean, they've not got that far to go, but it's like two days, two days. Uh, I might be able to cut off like two days maybe and then just moving in there uh port doesn't matter as much it can be built up if we so wish to do so okay yeah i was hoping they would attack but it looks like the weather wasn't great which is kind of annoying uh light cloud what is the weather over that hex really oh stream overcast okay that might explain i guess 
It looks like we had, um... Mm, it was okay of a bank call, but I guess that the stream overcast might have done it. But the good news is we'll have the air flotter unloaded here at Port Blair tomorrow. Look forward to that. 29% varied to level 3. Look forward to that. Okay. Yeah, looking excellent. Let's just take a look at Sian. Um... Okay. So, yeah, everything's busted. Which kind of sucks, so we'll repair the oil. It would have been nice to take an intact, but I guess it was a large battle here today, wasn't it? Manpower I don't care about. Resources, no. We've got plenty of resources. Light industry, no. Uh, heavy industry, I guess, is worthwhile. I'm, but I'm... Mm, no, nah, not right now. Nah. Refineries can come later. The oil is what matters. It would have been nice to take it intact, but hey, that's fine. Uh, we'll have it recovered, then, the oil. It would have been nice to have had that light industry, but hey, it denies it to him, so that's fine by me. Yeah, let's take a look at our units here, then. Yep. Fatigue's up there, but it's not too bad. Obviously, his fatigue is going to be much worse than ours. So I do need to have a decent bit of AV here to act as the... Um, what do we call it? Garrison. So he's got seven units here. Obviously, we did have some force retreat there. Uh, there's no, there's no like capitulation. Uh, I think people get that idea from, like, Hearts of Iron, really, which is quite amusing. Uh, what happens is China continues fighting. I didn't know about <laughs> Good to have you. Yeah, uh, I'd like to get to Chungking. I genuinely would like to get to Chungking. Yeah, we inflicted a hell of a lot of losses on him here today. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll keep them in position for the time being. It helps to keep control of that hex, which is nice. Right, gonna continue to chase that unit. That's moving there, but I did find a brigade to actually march out that way. Now, what I could do then is take one less actually from here. So another one can stay. I can stay here. I am freeing up the 17th Division, our own 17th Division, uh, which is going to be railing out here to Wu Chang. Okay. So 39th Division is making its way, so it'll arrive next turn, which is good, then I will be able to attack here. Okay. Uh, any plans for protecting your Port Moresby invasion? I don't know why, but I feel like he's setting a big trap for you by Moresby. I'm not too sure. I mean, he's got these assets over here. We just need to get the actual proper reconnaissance. I managed to get these guys into Hollandia, which is nice. Uh, they've still got a decent bit of fatigue, so it might be worth our maybe rest of them another day. We might be able to transfer them over. But we've got those guys. They're going to be here in this area shortly. So what we'll be able to do then is have actual proper reconnaissance over Port Moresby. Uh, we had Kidabatai move to this area over... Uh... Yes, good of a ties here. Where are the AOs? Oh, there they are. Yep, there we go. Uh, so, Kidipa ties here. The reason why I didn't have it return to truck immediately is because we do see these subs out here. Which we are hitting now, which is good. Just need to get the ASW forces out there. Uh, the thing is there, just it, just, it takes a really, really long time. Like, don't worry about that. Yeah, we'll be taking this by naval means. That's going to be the likely method about it. So, let's see. I do have DMSs. He might potentially laid mines at truck. So, we're going to have DMSs go in and make sure that's clear of mines. You can see that we found mines over here at Jalawad, which is interesting. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and check out uh, Twangi. Yeah. Uh, the good news is we are seeing these subs out here. We should be able to drive them off soon enough. So, about the Stroyd's visions... Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. I don't know if they just don't come back at all, or, or what, really. It'd be interesting enough. Right. 
So what I'm going to do is begin marching. Um, what I will do then is have these divisions sent back. That division as well. We'll have a couple of these divisions sent back. Got 116th there. I would like to have 116th moved out. I think if I could get this hex, I'd really like to have the hex on here where it's like the wooded roof. That'd be really nice. So we'll move out that way. Right, it looks like Ang Kang is actually empty, which is good there. That's very nice. Right, so we're going to have these men march. What I'll do then is take control, well, kick their ass again over here. And then we'll uh, have men sent back into the interior. So, set all to follow. So the 116th A is going to remain here as a garrison. But that's good news. And I'd love, I would love to think we could get to Chongqing. If he gives us the opportunity, then I will take it. I'm going to try and get additional forces down this way into the center of China. Uh, let's see. So I do have the two APs moving there. Yep. So you can see that we do have our unit here now in place, which is good. He's moving that unit that way. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So we have this unit that's arrived on the other side of the river, which is good. So that, that, that helps us out. Gives us a little more to work with. So he's got the two units here now. Okay. I do have a mortar battalion moving south. 23rd army is here, which is good. Yeah, 23rd army is quite useful to have that really. Um... Right, we have these fellows over here. They're going to have to recover. But it is worthwhile to continue to attack with them. But they're disruption up there. But I mean, these guys aren't going to be in great shape. I just need to make sure I can destroy that unit. So I need a unit there, but then we should be able to do that. Hey, didn't that Paul? Good to have you, my man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Go ahead and check out this area. We did see our sets down that way. Uh, so how are we doing with Rabal? We're up to 71% now, which is good. We're not that far away now. Not that far away. And we have been able to continue to unload supply. I do need to get some fuel down here. So I do have a number of subs that had been uh, somewhat forgotten about. Which is kind of a shame. So I do need to get some fuel down there. Which is a bit of a pain. So what I'll do then is when we actually do move south into this area. Uh, I will make sure we get some fuel down there. I'd like to try and get some fuel down there. But it's not as easy as you imagine. I might have some AKLs that might be able to load fuel. I'm going to have to double check that. Just getting any fuel down there would be quite good. So there's a few subs that we had forgotten about due to all the upsets up here. <laughs> uh, but we'll sort that out. Okay. Right, thunderstorms in the hex is really nice. Okay. So how are we doing here then? 64. So it's going to take some time to recover, but it'll not take that long. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is it. We've got the Dinas over here. So once we can actually get the Dinas actually into this area, and I can, proper, I can actually run proper reconnaissance, then we'll know what there is. Uh, we do have the means to take Moresby. I really do not see it being a problem. Yeah, I was why the Rabal cars into Paul Moresby. Yeah, indeed. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, if we take a look over here, then in terms of actual infantry units, there's, uh, yeah, this unit started to recover now. So there, that would eventually be end of a full strength unit. So there's three full strength units and one that's nearly full strength of naval guard. Uh, but now I have the other two full strength naval guard units here. And they're all prepping for Port Moresby. So you take a look at that preparation. That's a, that's a lot of preparation there. I mean, I decode a first SLF, 87 prep, 61 prep, 57 prep, 37 prep. That's a lot of prep. The beauty is obviously we'll be able to set up AKAs in this area as well. And we'll just be able to bombard the living hell out of the place. Right, we do have fuel being pumped into truck, which is nice now. That's good. Uh, I did put more ASW groups out here as well. I don't imagine he liked what happened to the Triton. So he tried to get... Uh, he, he tried something. <laughs> and it didn't work for him. Which is nice. So we do see his assets over here now. Which is intriguing. Yeah, but even then this is it. If uh, Dadman reinforces the uh, Port Moresby base, then that's going to be bad. Bad for him, not so much for us. The thing is, we actually have these uh, bases being built up now. 
So we can bring more air power to this place than he can. We can bring more in the way of actual surface assets than he can. We can bring more men than he can. There's not a way he can win this right now. And he, he'd be wise not to fight it, frankly. Yeah, if we take a look over here at war, uh, war uh, whatever. We're at 18% now. 91% here, so not too far out at Nadzap. Kaviang's been built up, which is excellent. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to keep on building that up. Sankers is another airfield to work with, which can actually host torpedoes, which is nice. Very good. All the subs over here might have to be brought back into Rabal, considering the danger has passed now. I'm very happy about that. I do need to get some supply down here, but I'm happy that we have been able to get more supply into Talagi, which is nice. So we're at uh, 1059. We still have 600 supply available aboard the ships. It looks like it's doing about 200 a turn, which is not particularly fast, but it is what it is. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, the good news is Batavia has cleared the mines. Okay. A little bit of damage there to repair, but not much. Hey, Dunair Fenrir, good to have you. Oh, thank you very much, Mayor Fenrir. That was really, really awesome. <laughs> yeah, no kisses needed. Well, it's not going to be a kiss. <laughs> But I appreciate that, Fenrir, and that's really, really awesome, man. Thank you very much. Yes, the Allied player does need to buy time. But the issue is buying time at Port Moresby is a waste of time. So do you see these assets which come out of... Well, have come out of Kuching, it seems. He's not even moving these men. I can't imagine why. The, the, well, obviously, I can imagine why. He's kind of because they're just doomed. Okay. No, so... um. So still men unloading over here then. Yeah, so still elements of 6th tank and some artillery. Uh, still elements of the 5th division here. Wow, where's actually a board here? Yeah, wow. There's still more. That's impressive. That is impressive. A little bit of support there. And a little bit of support there. Yep, that's nice. So in fairness, I mean, if we take a look at the amount of like heavy cruisers we have in this area... I could just go ahead and bombard the division here. I mean, yeah, as you say, they're grim. <laughs> oh dear. Well, the thing here that I'm thinking about just is we're doing so well in China. This is something I've been, well, we've been considering as of late. Is uh, Burma looks like it will fall. I can't see a way that Burma holds out. So what I think we might do then is obviously push onto this part of China here. We push east from Burma. Uh, we can take, after the fall of Luzon, after the final fall of Luzon, we can have divisions pushed in from the south over here to march upon like Nanning. It's obviously like upon the major roads there. Um, we'll continue marching over here. And if we could get to Chongqing, that would be effectively the, uh, the decapitation of China. So I think we are going to push from pretty much every direction, really make it absolutely intolerable, make it impossible for China. And then after China, I think we would be looking to conquer the Soviet Union. Well, at least Siberia, which is tough. There's about 10,300 um, infantry, 2,000 odd tanks, and obviously a lot of other assets. So, but if we take China, we'll be able to manage that. A good launch really don't mean to push with Yunnan from Burma. Well, it can be done. It can be done. See, this is the thing. It could be done if he doesn't have that much force here. Uh, he doesn't have that much of the railroad in China. I mean, he's got this railroad over here, but I mean, like, what the hell does that matter? Like, there's no rail lines over here. That connection is now a waste of time. We control the vast majority of the rail line in China. He's got that, but it doesn't matter that much if he can only move from here to here. Like, what is the gain from that? Not that much. He can't rail to Chongqing. He'd have to march. But the thing is, once we've gone into this area here, we need to get to this position. That's what we need there. Yeah, I know, but that's the thing that I've uh, These Soviets will be a problem in 45, and they will be stronger then. Yeah, I can imagine the... I've never tried that Ironman scenario, but I can imagine it'd be nasty. But the thing is, it would be nasty, but this is where we'd be able to bring air power in. Yeah, but it can be done. It can be done. He has a lot of his actual power over here at Vladivostok. He has obviously power around this area in Mongolia. But it can be done. And I think that is something that we will look towards doing. If we could actually defeat the Soviet Union in Siberia, then yeah. Uh, Japan would be one threat less, which is very important. 
There's some very, very mean defenses of Vladivostok. I mean, Vladivostok has level 9 fortifications. It has some crazy coastal defense guns. It has like 356mm coastal defense guns, a bunch of 300mm and more than that. Pretty damn crazy. But it can be done. It can be done. Well, that's it, Evoken, but it can be done. The thing is, there's that much AV. If you can take China, if you can concentrate it, if you can mash your uh, actual forces. Because the thing is, the Soviets cannot move their men until they activate. So the thing is, we could choose where we attack. Well, the thing is that... I like that name, by the way, Imperialist Jacobin. That's pretty cool. The thing is, China is almost a dead man walking now. I know that sounds like really uh, crazy to say because it's not finished, but it's not that far from being a dead man walking. Once we get over here to the north, we cut fuel off from the center of China. He doesn't have that much fuel. So that heavy industry will shut down. If I can actually get into the base in here, I like to call this the Chunking Base. I'm actually going to have to go ahead and see what the actual name for this area is. Then he'll be essentially doomed. Um, Rangoon fell. Yeah, it, it... The Emperor's will be done. <laughs> and he's played into our hands over here in Burma. Really nicely. The thing is with India, it could still be done in the future. India is actually, in a way, it's, it's easier, but it's harder. And we're not as likely to actually hold on to India. Well, that's the Imperialist. I'm not saying it's going to be done anytime soon, but it will be done, well, it'll be done in a relatively quick time frame if we are quite brutal in how we go about it. But don't worry about it. We can get into the details as we go on. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do here, then, is set up a bombardment. Yeah, exactly, as uh, Infinite says there. If China ain't done, we ain't doing it. Uh, what I'm going to do here is actually have these service forces. For the most part, I do not need all of them actually here. Uh, they're the only guys that need to actually be here right now. So what I'm going to do is actually have a number of them disbanded, make it easier to cover all this. What I can do here then... Right, there we go. And, yep, yeah, they've still got supply troops. In Russia, we could try the <laughs> tanks. Sailor so won't be good, but come on, guys, you gotta think big. You gotta think big. If we could remove the Soviet Union as a threat in 1942 43, then it's worthwhile. You've got to imagine that the Soviet Union will invade in 1945. So the thing is, we can be afraid of it. Which is obviously a wise idea. We're not going to do this until we actually do take China, so bear that in mind. But the thing is, if we're afraid of it now, what the hell are we going to be doing in 1945 when it comes crashing through our doors? Right, let's go ahead. I think it would be really quite... We could probably go ahead and shock attack. I do have these forces here. I could just leave the one heavy cruiser here as like an actual um, garden force. Because I don't think he's got the ability to get anything in here. But still worthwhile being sure. So let's see then. So we have six heavy cruisers here for which we can use as uh, a bombardment force. Which is kind of overkill, but I would love to be able to shock attack this division into oblivion. Uh, light cruiser's not too bad, I guess. Might as well. A lot of these assets do need to be refueled. We do have plenty of them, really. Yeah, that's kind of crazy amount there. Uh, we could do with having them refueled, really. Hmm. Yeah. I need to get some destroyers in here refueled. So what I'm going to do then is actually stop my endurance. So the destroyers that actually have endurance, we can actually use. The others can I, uh, I can keep in port and have them refueled. Oh, right, they're coming out from that task force. Right, there we go. I don't really need that much, but it's fine. Right, so, let's see. There's no fear of counter-bombardment, really. So, we go in hot. I can get an AK begin to... I can get the AKEs begin to move up now. Uh, but this is it. The bombardment will come in in daytime. I mean, Christ, his division is going to really suffer from that. 
That's going to be very nice. Yes, we can keep it. <laughs> yes, we can keep it. Do I even need to bother having a minimum? I might have a minimum just in case. I mean, we could just... We'll not have the AA guns used then, so we'll have it about 5k then. Uh, I'm not going to have the DDs bombard as well. And I could do... I mean, they've got the 12.7 guns. Maybe we do... Uh, uh, um, maybe we do. I guess we do. It would be nice to get as much in the way of bombardment as we can. So they can remain on station and then obviously, yep, yeah, here we go. Uh, what I could do is have the float planes here use as reconnaissance, which I don't think we need, but it's probably worthwhile doing nonetheless. Just to act as a spotters, really. Right, there you go, that should be enough. It'd be in daytime, so I don't imagine they'd need it. I will go ahead and make sure each one of them is typed in, though, but I'll probably do that after stream. Um, okay. Hmm. So I could have a ties move. Let's see. Cancel their movement. Right, they're currently on no I can cancel that. That's more than enough assets here. I could actually have the coys taken out that way. That'd be worthwhile doing. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ooh, no. Uh, I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> I might be able to still move them on there. Uh, but that's fine. They're, they're moving anyway, I guess. So, okay. I should have double-checked that beforehand. But that's fine. That's fine. Right. Load troops only. And we'll have them moved into Pegu. Okay. Uh, the DMS is moving out towards Rangoon. Uh, yeah, they'll make it there tomorrow. That's nice. Well, the thing is... We can dictate when the war begins. But we'll see. I can't see China lasting that long, really. We are making the right moves right now. And obviously not to uh, jinx our progress, but... We're doing very, very well here. The fact is, we're not too far from being able to... I mean, this is it. We're going to push on here to the north. So in maybe two, three days, depending on the amount of fatigue. Uh, probably three days at most. Uh, so I imagine we'll attack again on the 14th of February... Then continue marching. We'll keep going for it. Okay. As you say that, just the decision. The decision, uh, decision is going to be China. That's going to be the decision there. China. China, China, China. Uh, I would still like to say, uh, take Ceylon, though. That would still be worthwhile taking out. Right, let's see. Hmm. You've got to imagine that just we, we are using the, the forces in China. All these divisions cannot be taken out of China unless they're bought out. So all these divisions that are outside of China are still there. They're still going to be there and they will not change. We still have our defenses out this way. It's like you can imagine now like we have everything out here that is not in China right now. What is in China is in China. It isn't helping us out this way. Uh, if we launch the war in 1942, in some months' time or so, when we do defeat China, or whenever, as, as quickly as we can, really, this doesn't change. This will still continue. We still have our production of air power. We still have our fleet. We still have everything being built up. This will be conquered, and it will be made secure. But if we can secure ourselves, if we can secure the home islands from the Soviet Union. New Caledonia would be nice to have, don't get me wrong. And it can be taken, I'd imagine, once we secure this area. Wake, Midway, uh, maybe. Uh, but I would like the Illusions as well. We'd like to have a buffer out this way. But we'll discuss that as we go on. I know it's kind of shocking, but we'll be able to discuss it as we go on. Uh, New Zealand's too far out that way. It could be done, but it's not something I'm particularly interested in, really. 
Okay. I'm, I don't want to get... I, I love the questions, but I don't want to get too caught up. Um... Uh, Okay. So some is moving out there. You've got to think just. Like, we still have everything here. It's going to be 1942. The Allies aren't going to be in a position to really launch a proper counter-offensive in 1942. You've got to think like, look at this area here. He has a lot of power, but he's not sticking around and our power continues to grow in this area. This area will be able to look after itself in the near future. Uh, this area will be able to look after itself in the future as well. It'll take longer, but it will be able to look after itself. These areas as well. We will secure them. We will make them good. But all this AV in China. Like, the big thing here to take in consideration, by the way, is like, you know Manchuria? You know how we have this Manchurian Manchuko garrison requirement? So we have currently 8,748 assault by there. You know why that is there? That's to prevent the Soviet Union being active. Well, the thing is, if we're going to declare war on the Soviet Union, why does that 8,000 assault value need to stay there? I mean, for an example, there's like 4,000 assault value there. There's like hundreds of assault value around in that area in different divisions and brigades. There's hundreds of assault value in these areas here. We can bring in additional divisions that did begin in China, uh, well, have been used in the uh, conquest of the Philippines and the conquest of Burma. They can, and I think they would be wiser used to subdue China. Subdue China, and then we have the ability to start the war here. He cannot move his men until he's active. So the thing is, we can choose where to mass our troops, we can mass our air power, and we start the war. That's the thing, we start it. I really appreciate your views, as I'm just... <laughs> I can't answer every question, unfortunately. Oh, as I spend all day talking. Hey, didn't I feel it's Good to have you, my man. Yep, in a good turn. We did take Sian here today, which is very nice. I'm going to continue marching north. Frankly, I may go ahead and call it very shortly and we can go ahead and get the turn worked on and maybe even get a third turn. I doubt a third turn, but who knows. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Uh, we inflicted 28,000 casualties upon the Chinese. Yep, there we go. Uh, we suffered 3,859. We had six destroyed squads. We destroyed 972 squads. 28,102 casualties. Turns out tanks can really do a number on him. Uh, we're defending Burma using the Thai divisions and other divisions as well. Uh, you've got to think big, Just. You've got to think big. Think big, man. We're not going to take everything from these areas because everything still remains in these areas. Like, we are conquering these areas now, but you've got to think about it, man. Air power is going to be the big thing. I love your enthusiasm, Just. I just wish I could have, like, a like a drawing board to write out the answers. Right. I think we will go ahead and order a shock attack here. Um, as a good chunk of me that is like hesitant to auto shock attacks, but in fairness, we are going to have a six heavy cruiser. Is that six or is that five? One, two, three, four. Uh, looks about five heavy cruisers, a light cruiser. I might get the DDs in there as well. Uh, we're going to have a hell of a bloody bombardment prior to that. That's going to hurt. That's going to bloody well hurt. I don't know who will attack first, actually. If we launch an attack, we launch an attack. I don't know how that'll work, actually. It's going to be really intriguing. Not too sure about that. That's an interesting thing I've never considered there. Who attacks first? Hmm. Right, what I'm going to do here, then, is take the DDs that are actually still in port. And I'm going to have them refueled as we can. Oh, wow, one. Well, I suppose it's got no port, so that's fair enough, really. Not too sure. Right, so we have those assets there. I do have a PB in the AKEs. I would like to get an escort in there. I do have a light cruiser and two AKs here. He has a unit in here somewhere, so we're going to have to bear that in mind. He's probably going to move into Tavoy at some point in the near future. And uh, attempt to take that base. But I'll get some AV in here. Right, so they can move down here to Victoria Point. Great Nicobar. Uh, it's okay. It's got no port. You can build a port, but it'd be really expensive. But it'll come in handy. We're continuing to march upon Sabang. Uh, have our force over here, which is recovering somewhat. Yeah, there's quite a bit of disruption and fatigue to recover there. 
seeing those assets there. The heavy crews have made it out, which is nice. Well made through here, which is very nice. He's patrolling here, but frankly, good luck. It's too late. Far, far too late. Uh, I think I will order a deliberate attack here next. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and check on our signal intelligence. I'm gonna have to look at that. Geraldton Diamond Harbor, which is in the north, which is interesting. Uh, cleared the mines. Yeah, 93 mines, 81 mines. Hmm. Hayashio. Oh. Hayashio is uh, repaired, which is nice. Yeah, we'll build those bases up. We'll build them all up. You can see the uh, E1, free A1 Jakes are doing nice. Uh, Val's doing nice too. Yeah, plenty of ships being reported hit here, which is nice. I just wish we could put some torpedoes into them, frankly. But ah, well. And all honesty, I should just send the uh, subs up that way, shouldn't I? So, Aiden expands the airfield size 4. We've seen a lot of things moving, like, being increased in size now. Okay. Right. Oh, excellent. Yep, so the forces have arrived at Clark. That's really nice. Okay. So we have these forces over here now, which is good. What I can go ahead and do then is have these divisions broken up. You can see that their fatigue is like... Ah, it's not amazing, <laughs> frankly. So what I'm going to do then is have that broken up and we uh, covered. We'll have a turn of this and then we'll march in Bataan. So I want them to recover as much as they can today. Before they go on to Bataan. I may potentially keep 21st Division here to recover. But I think it's worthwhile sending everything we can. Hammer an anvil it really. I'll just hammer it and bear the anvil. Okay, they're going to continue to recover. I don't think I will take the independent engineers on there. I don't think it'd be worthwhile doing so. HQ, yep. Yeah, there we go. The artillery go that way. So everybody's planning for Bataan. Besides these guys that aren't. But they don't matter. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing here? Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you compare the difference. We had, like, uh, one airfield damage yesterday, and now we have four to two. That's good to see. That's good to see. Nice bit of actual attack there. Uh, we are going to get bombers moved into China soon. Very, very soon. Okay, these units prepared to move out. I may go ahead and actually get those AKs moving now. Um, have a couple place elsewhere. I'm going to try and get them moving out to Pegu. It would be nice to rearm there. Uh, what I can do here then is take this. Right, follow them. Yeah, but that's a given there, uh, just. That's a given. Don't worry about it. If you worry about everything, it's you just can't carry on that way. Right, then can we moved out. Okay, I do have these construction units that have arrived here. They can begin moving across to Victoria Point. There we go. Right then. Uh, we have cleared the port of Batavia, which is very nice. I have seen a lot of subs out that way, which is not a bit uh, of a worry. 
Okay. So we have I-155 over here. We'll actually accrue quite a lot of damage there. So she can go into shipyard. Don't be so pessimistic there, Just. What happens in China does not affect the defense of the Pacific. Unless we win, and then it does affect the defense of the Pacific. So we have all those forces that could be then used. Go on, use that brain power. You can do it, man. Right, I-21 does need to be repaired. I'm just teasing, by the way. Right, you need to be repaired. Two days, man. Might as well get it done quick. I am expanding the actual size of the docks here, which is nice. Each day we have another 1,000 tons of capacity. Which is actually really quite good. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, ship's under repair. Ships have arrived in ports. Uh, there's a number of subs that do need to be repaired. Hayashio, I think, was one of the... Yeah, it was the sub that was moving assets between... Uh, Victoria Point and Port Blair, which actually was really instrumental, to be honest. Right, those are just PB boats. Okay. Right, then. So, 4th Division. Still just recovering the... Uh... Excuse me. Ah, there we go. Yeah, 4th Division still recovering disabled squads. I think it would be worthwhile to have them shifted to Java, perhaps. If I could have that speeded up, that might be worthwhile. But I might give it a little bit more time, so I may not even need them, and it might be worthwhile to have them shifted to Burma. Another idea is it might be worthwhile to have them potentially shifted to China in the future, but they could be made available for Mindanao. They need to make a decision as to where they need to be sent. I think Mindanao might be worthwhile. Maybe like two, three divisions from Luzon finish this quick. Uh, I do have these guys written naval search, so yeah, this is why we're aware of these guys, so we can see he's moved down this way. I'm looking forward to taking Mindanao. So we'll have a day's rest out here, then get these units into some fit and ready shape, get that fatigue down, get that uh, disruption down. That'd be nice. And the base itself has 59,000 tons of supply. It's got a lot of support there. For some reason, all the supplies moved out of the Tigers. Riddle me that one. Wake. Wake is good because it denies him a base close to our own. And we will be taking Wake, as I've said many times. It will be coming soon enough. The thing to bear in mind now is I want to point out the differences we have here. Like, for example, you see how we see these subs? You see how we see the subs around here? We never used to see that, did we? The reason why we are seeing that now, and notice we're increasing the net strength of our zeros, is we have a Chitose and other groups like it. So you can see we have Chitose, Chitose 2 slash B and 2 slash C. Uh, these guys have really good ASW. You can see they're actually attacking here today, which is why they're gaining experience and ASW skill. So that's going to make his life hell out here. They're going to launch attack after attack after attack, and I can use the PPs here to attack them too. They will be moved up to places like Tawangi and other ports like in this area as well. The idea is to actually cover everything when we do move in here as much as we can. Uh, we will have them positioned out this way to essentially drive enemy subliners out of the way. Yeah, planes can kill subs. They definitely do kill subs, and they definitely are good at it if you get the good pilots in there. They can do a damn good job. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Just need to get things moving. I do have the JAF battalions marching north. I uh, do have the armored car company here, which I'm going to have remain for the time being. Yes, as Infinite says so. Okay. I will go ahead and deliver the attack here today. Yeah, we're looking good there. Is that a river? Oh, there is a river here, isn't there? Right, okay. Well, that's fair enough to know about, then. I mean, that's going to be a shock attack when we do arrive here, then. That's going to be pretty bloody deadly. So we have a... That's a good thing I uh, looked at that, because I don't actually even always notice the uh, river there. But that's going to be nice. Uh, that means we actually save a day. So rather than having two days and moving into the hex and then having a third day to attack, that's actually really nice. That actually means we save a day. So we're going to have... Um, well, no, actually, no, we don't save a day because we're going to have a day movement mode. Uh, we'll have two days in combat mode. 
So it posts on par, but it means that we attack with a shock, and yeah, I guess it's one of those. I know, Just, but come on, man. You, you've got to look at it this way. You've got to look at it this way. We're not saying right now. We're not going to attack with Soviets right now. But if China falls, and we think we can engineer the fall of China, we will attack the Soviet Union. That is going to be a hell of a consideration. It's going to take a hell of a lot of planning, but it will be done if we can do it. That's the thing. We will plan the living hell out of it. He can't move his men. Most of his men are actually in these areas of concentration. That's good. That is good. We do have our forces over here on the border as well, which help us. We do have the interior lines. We do have the roads. We have the rails. We have the supply. We have goddamn Japan here. This is our center of power. Look how far it is. Yeah, there's a lot of like rail lines in Korea and obviously in Manchuria. Well, Manchukuo. Um, okay. So, I think we're looking good here. I think things are going along pretty well. I would like to get a bombardment in there, but it's going to take some time. Okay. Right. Apparently, that is empty, which is pretty crazy. Very nice. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, it'd not be easy, but his AV is... There's definitely a lot of it, but it is spread out to a degree. It is concentrated in certain areas, but it's spread out to a degree as well. The thing is, he might have 10,000 AV in total across the entirety of uh, Siberia. He will get reinforcements as well, bear in mind, he will get a few hundred more. Uh, but the thing is, if we could actually mass a couple thousand in particular hexes and push onto particular targets, that'd be good. Okay. Uh, we're looking pretty good, man. Looking pretty good. Just gonna keep on pushing out the envelope over here. I'm gonna have our division march forward. I would like to be in a position to take this here. Push in with them. And push on forward. Okay. It's looking nice. It's really awesome to see that we have 30 people watching. That's really nice, actually. Glad to have you guys here. Hope you're actually enjoying the series. Really nice to have you. Right. So let's see, then. Uh, we do have the ACs and 2s over here, then. They were doing a mix of training and cap. So fatigue's still pretty manageable, which is nice. They're still gaining experience. Oh, that is uh, Yamada. Uh, yeah, you can see these guys are gaining experience quite nicely. We're going to be moving up on Moresby. I just need to get the actual... We've got the Dinas over here. I may give them another day's rest. The reason is they've got 12 fatigue, which is not a lot, but I think any chance we can try and have to uh, prevent the... But then again, I could try and transfer them. Um, we'll see. Oh, uh, so just Issa's question there... Is uh, if we take Chung King, does he actually get his uh, cores back when they're destroyed? Hey, didn't that better game at 747? I like that name. <laughs> Need more turns, indeed, yeah. That'd be great. Uh, I don't think it's enough hours in a day, but what I'm going to do then is get this turn sent off to Infinite Bunky, which helps me with the pilot training. I don't think there's all that much to do, and maybe we can get a fair turn in tonight. I doubt that. Probably tomorrow. But we could do an earlier stream tomorrow, maybe get a second turn in tomorrow then. We'll see. And meanwhile, I need to try and fit in my Japanese practice. <laughs> I'm trying to get these busy days in before I do start university. Um, obviously, with university, I'm going to have far less time in my hands. So I'm really trying to give you guys as much as I can right now. Because I'm loving it, and I hope you guys are too. That man is a great opponent, and we are having some crazy things happen. I'm... Right or wrong, attacking the Soviet Union could be a hell of a way to go. The way to look at it is, if it fails, at least we game. <laughs> the game is over pretty quick. <laughs> Now that's intriguing, I've seen this over here where they failed, I'm not too sure as to why there, so that's something I'd have to double check. I saw one the other day, I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see R&D, let's take a look how we're going. Uh, no, I don't go to school in Japan. Uh, I will be starting university in Sheffield, United Kingdom, well Sheffield, England. Uh, but in my third year of university I will be going to a, a I, will, I will spend a year in Japan. I'll be going to a Japanese university and then return to the UK. And then probably uh, I might look towards return to the U uh, sorry return to the Japan in the future. I'd like to one day be able to do these actual streams in Japanese. That'd be quite fun. 
Uh, Japanese studies and history is going to be my degree, dual history. Sorry, dual degree. So let's see here then. Uh, yep, so we make some way into A6 and 3, which is nice. Fit that. I can't remember if I was always a 3. The roof is not too far away now. Yeah, you can see there, 25. Just need 5 more. Come on. As soon as, soon as we get there, that'd be nice. Uh, Toe just making a little bit of progress. Nick, need a Nick. Oh, Helen. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the one we already have. That's nice. Key 83, so we had a 4. I think we got a second 4 last turn. Yep, we have our Okiyama. Is that a third 4? Wow, we got a third 4. Very nice. Yeah, so we got Osaka, Kyoto, uh, Okiyama, and we got, ha what is it? Hamamamu, uh, sorry, Hamamasu. Hamamasu. Very nice. Quite happy about that. We got a 6 over here in the key 84. Ah, looking pretty good. Non yet in VJs. Sorry, in the Georges. Uh, nice. Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And we're going to go ahead and try and get this uh, worked on as quickly as possible if we can. I'd like to say a big thank you there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have enjoyed this, please do go ahead and consider following myself here on Twitch and subscribing on YouTube. And uh, if you do have Amazon Prime, please do consider making me your Twitch Prime subscription uh, sugar daddy. Because that would be awesome. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help to support me as a content creator. And it would be nice. If you do not prefer that method, I do have a Patreon. I do have PayPal. I do have uh, certain favours. <laughs> totally up to you guys. If you can't afford it, that's no problem at all. Even if it's a dollar, it would make a tremendous difference. Until next time. I guess I'm in the We had a great battle here today. We are Battle Sian. 28,000. That's not easy to come back. Three days, we'll attack him again. So, on the 13th of February, we will have the Shock Attack over here. Uh, 14th of February, absolute minimum. We should have an attack at Clark, sorry, at Batan, maybe by the uh, 15th and 16th as of late. I'm looking forward to see what happens over here tomorrow. Need to make sure we get this worked out, but we will go for a Shock Attack. And uh, we're going to have quite a, quite a hell of a bombardment. Where is it? Yeah. So we have Takao, Atako, Maya, uh, Maya, uh, Kumano, Kako, uh, Isuzu. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. That's five uh, heavy cruisers, light cruiser. I might even throw in destroyers there, just as much firepower as I can. And if I can try and shatter the 17th division, I'd be really happy with that. But there we go. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't hate Kabanzai for the Emperor and the Emperor.